I'm here with Kevin Long and Michael Conforto, outfielder with the New York Metropolitans. How do you feel? I feel Coming great. Into spring? I feel great. Uh, you know, body feels great. You know, staying healthy is big number one thing and uh, but the swing feels great and I guess that's what we're going to talk about here today with Kevin Long yeah. absolutely we're going to get after Step it Al. all right we're so gonna uh, I'm going to get out of the way go okay. ahead you said about these drills yep show us all show right. us what here you guys go. do all right when we start off let me get over um, here so I don't get hit obviously Michael just starting out here we're going to start out with a inside outside drill and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him a cadence and he's either going to hit the outside pitch or the inside pitch here's how it works you ready Fordo all right, let's do it. Outside. So as he gets ready and as he's getting ready to load, outside. I'll give him either outside or inside. So on this one, we'll go inside. And he goes right to the inside pitch. And the reason And the what? reason for this is more or less to determine whether the pitch is, it could be a fastball, it could be a breaking ball, but it's, uh, more for his body control and to get, keep his body in a good position to be able to react either to a ball inside or outside, or a fastball or maybe a changeup. Okay. So let's try it again. Take. So right there, it so was a ball. So it's slowing you down to have to like really wait, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely want to be able to, you know, cover these two pitches. Um, anything in between is gonna be cake if I can cover these two and, and, and as late as he's going to be calling inside outside um, you know obviously it's different than, than seeing the ball fly in there but you're still you still have to put your body into that position and make sure that you're able to hit both pitches. All right, we're going to go to another drill. Fordo let's go off the line let's do uh, let's do a direction drill. You guys ready? Yeah so, so for this drill, foul off so for this drill he would not Michael would not line up on this chalk line. He wouldn't. Okay, but for this drill, for the purpose of this drill, he's going to line up on the line. And really what we're trying to do is make sure that his direction is right in line with that. We don't want him crossing over and we won't, don't want him too open. So is, that gonna, a, is, that a, is that a problem? Is that something you do? Is that something you're trying to correct? It's been something that, that I've been working on since I line. came up. Um, it was one of the first things that Kalong and I worked on okay. was not getting too far over, um, you know, over my you know, kind of crossing over my body. Um, then I block myself off, and then I got to fly open to get, you know, back to a, a pitch that I need okay. to, so. So here we go. And we'll just do that. We could do this off a of tee, or we can do it off flips. We're just going to do flips. Good take. Okay, stay there, Michael. So as you can see, if we look at his feet here, he is right in line. And that's the whole purpose of the line, is so that he can have a visual after his swing to see where he ends up. Okay. To stay in line because obviously if you, get, if you move in and out, then now you've got to cheat or you get cut off, you get jammed, right. whatever. And it, there's an element of consistency there. You want to be able to you know, know where you're going to be at um, on every swing. 